So take something really simple like the habit of brushing your teeth each day, hopefully more than once. <laughs> Just try and think of this habit that uh, at one point someone told you it was a good idea, right? Someone told you this was a good idea when you were little, and you were perhaps not on board right away. <laughs> you had to be uh, told the benefits. If you brush your teeth, then you'll be, you know, nice and clean, and you'll smell nice, and your teeth won't fall out and rot, and that'll work out well, just trust me, right? And you were little, and you thought, <laughs> and so you had to sort of be um, persuaded to do it again and again when you were little, and then whether it was because you thought it was a good idea, or you didn't want to get in trouble, eventually it became something that you took ownership of and started to do on your own, right? Right, just thinking back, like, hopefully I'm not speaking an example that someone doesn't resonate with, right? I'm hoping you're all good teeth brushers, um, but it's none of my business if you're not. Think of a different habit. <laughs> okay. Um, and so now, if you think of yourself with this activity, um, it might still have a tiny bit of effort, right? Some days, if you're really, I don't know, having a bad day, it might still be a little bit of an effort to brush your teeth, but it's not like a huge struggle. You're not having a big tantrum at night. You're not yelling, you're not like ringing your mom, right, as an adult saying, I don't want to brush my teeth, you can't make me, click, right? Um, that's not happening. You, you do do it, whether you want to or not, you do it each day. And some days it's easy and you don't even think about it. It just comes naturally, and you might even enjoy it. Right? But if you think about the process, right? the process was, at first it was a struggle, and now it's second nature. What made it start as a struggle and turn into second nature? Repetition. Do you, do you agree? Repetition was the main factor, and that the more you do something, the easier it becomes. And this is true with all activities physical ones, verbal ones, mental ones, repetition is what makes it easier. And this is not a hard concept, and you probably already know this. But when we're looking at our negative habits, sometimes we lose our common sense. You know, you think, I'm not a bad person for doing it, or I shouldn't be doing it, or it says something primordial about my nature that I do this thing I don't want to be doing. Forgetting the fact that the reason you do it is because you repeated it so often. Now it's easy. So what you're going to need to do is something different repeatedly to change the tide. And you have to convince yourself first. So the mind will do whatever it's trained to do. And right now it's trained to do some things that are useful and some things that aren't. So now we take it a step back. Okay, so habits are coming from repetition. Where does a good habit come from? Where does a bad habit come from? Just think back in your life. You don't have to answer, but just like reflect. The habits I do again and again that are really useful, what, what drives those? The ones I know aren't useful, I even know better, but I still do them. How come? How come? Why do we do things that are not in our best interest? Why do we do things that hurt other people? Having easy, pithy, immediate responses, or is it like, I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> Why do we do these things? And so, just explore if it's because the negative habit, so if we talk about a bad habit, why do we call it bad? We call it bad because it either doesn't work, right? doesn't achieve what it set out to achieve, or it hurts yourself and others in the process. Right? So when we say bad habits, Let's class it that way, not as like a moral judgment, but more objective, like it tries to do this and that doesn't succeed, or in doing this thing, I hurt myself and others, or it doesn't last. Yeah? So if we're calling things negative habits or bad habits, let's kind of have that in the back of our mind. It's just something that's not working out well, something that's causing some sort of damage. Whether it's benign or whether it's extreme, there's something not useful about it.